Only eating street food for a full day in New York. Today we were in Queens and there was a line forming outside this Bidia taco truck. So I had to stop and look at these beauties. Of course, I had to get the consomme for dipping. And y'all, the shells are dipped in the fat from the consomme. They are literally the crispiest Bidia tacos I've ever had. And the beef was so garlicky, super juicy. I also got a multia, which is kind of like a quesadilla, but also still like a taco. So it's got the two tortillas and then gooey melty cheese inside. And then if you keep walking down Roosevelt, it's like a multicultural food heaven. I found this this Espumillas cart. So it's this super fluffy guava meringue that's so sugary sweet. It just kind of like dissolves in your mouth. It's actually really good with a crunchy cone. It adds a lot of texture. And then we kept walking and we came across this Momo truck. They're handmade Tibetan dumplings that are pan fried. So they get a little crispy and filled with this savory beef. And then you pour these sauces on them. I'm not sure what they're called, but one is really creamy and one is super spicy. And it's just like a burst of flavors. I'm going to dream about these dumplings. Oh my gosh. And finally, I had to hit up a tamales cart and she gave me three of her favorites. So this first one was a chicken and salsa roja and it had a little heat but it was also so soft. And this one was filled with poblano peppers stuffed with cheese. It was rich and it also had a juicy tomato. And finally I got the salsa verde tamales that was spicy like the hottest thing I've had in a minute. And that's all for today. Everything I ate my first time at Raisin Cane. This location was fancy and I keep hearing that it's like the best thing ever, but then I hear that it's overhyped at mid. So I started off with the classic tender in the sauce and the cane sauce has a lot of flavor. It's so peppery and salty, but the tender was so juicy. And of course I got the toast buttered on both sides and then you got to make a sandwich. So you add the chicken and the sauce and the fries and that's the ticket. The buttery bread is seriously so good. It's got that toasty crunch. And again, the chicken is juicy and the sauce definitely tastes less salty with the bread. It just really ties it all together. Then I added some salt and pepper to the fries because I heard they were under seasoned, but they were still kind of disappointing, like not very crispy and not much flavor, but that's okay because I added Louisiana hot sauce to my second cup of cane sauce. Also, look at how big this tender is and the hot sauce is a game changer. It adds so much heat and like complexity to the sauce. You have to try it. And finally, I tried the sweet tea, which was actually fire. It had a really nice lemony tang while still being super sweet. And that's all for today. Only eating at bakeries for a full day in New York City. First up, we went to Supermoon Bakehouse. I literally bought one of like everything I couldn't resist. They have a Ferrero Rocher cruffin that's filled with this silky hazelnut cream and crunchy hazelnuts. And the cruffin is super flaky. They also have a peaches and cream cruffin with homemade peach jam and this fresh whipped cream that's so fluffy. And look at how gorgeous this blueberry croissant was. It was filled with this smooth blueberry curd that was so tangy. And then this croissant was filled with matcha almond cream that was almost savory. And it had this fluffy fluffy buttercream on top. And they're famous for these handmade eclairs. This one was filled with this thick ube cream. And then this strawberry cheesecake one had cream cheese and house-made strawberry jam that was so sweet. They also had Boston cream donuts. This one was really vanilla-y and the dark chocolate was like perfectly bittersweet. And they have these brioche donuts that come in little cups so your hands don't get all sugary. It was filled with pandan and coconut cream. And look at how flaky this Danish was. It had juicy strawberries and raspberries with this nutty pistachio cream. It was so good. And I keep hearing about Leven cookies. So I had to wait in the line and try them all. I got this dark chocolate peanut butter cup one that's kind of fudgy and like a brownie inside, but then really crispy outside and the peanut butter chips get all melty. The two chip chocolate chip one was my favorite for sure. It had the most chocolate chips and it was just so buttery and their famous chocolate chip walnut one was good too. I also tried the new caramel coconut chip one, which was so moist and that's all for today. Letting my followers decide what I eat for a full day in New York. I put out a poll on IG and a lot of people said Chinatown, but specifically Xi'an famous foods. And honestly, I don't know if I've ever had hand pulled noodles before. They're so soft and thick and these hot oil seared ones numb your mouth in the most addictive way. And I also got the stewed pork hand rip noodles and the pork literally fell apart. It was so juicy and the spicy sauce is like bursting with flavor. My mouth is literally watering just editing this video. They also have this spicy cumin lamb burger. I love Chinese style burgers because the sauce just soaks into that buttery crispy bread and these spicy sour pork cabbage dumplings were huge just stuffed with meat and the sourness in the sauce makes them even hotter and these pretty green ones were filled with spinach and different veggies super savory and honestly so filling and then everyone said to hit up joe's pizza i was curious if the hype was worth it and let me tell you it was the line was out the door and it should have been longer best pepperoni pizza of my life the sauce had this like spicy quality and the dough was perfectly thin and the cheese was so creamy i also got this thick cheese 
slice and the crust had the most incredible crunch again the cheese it's just so melty and creamy and just so delicious and then a few people said to go to the ice cream museum which sounded fun i didn't personally love all of the ice creams it was like fruity sorbets and popsicles and then rum raisin just isn't my favorite but that's just me and i also discovered that i'm terrible at eating cotton candy is there a right way to do it i don't know i'm like really bad at it but anyway that's all for today only eating at Jewish delis for a full day in New York City. We started at one of the oldest and most famous delis in the city. I got this massive Reuben that came with this thick, creamy Thousand Island dressing and the melty cheese with a super thin, savory corned beef. And then the rye was really buttery and crunchy and the sauerkraut was so tangy. And of course I had to get a bagel with lox. I tried it without the other toppings just to see what it tasted like. And the smoked salmon literally melted in my mouth. It was so buttery and the cream cheese was thick. And the guy said their fries were incredible. They gave me so many and they were actually really flavorful super well seasoned and piping hot they also make all of their cheesecake in-house look at how massive this piece was literally so creamy and smooth and the crust was buttery i was full after two bites but worth but for dinner we still had to hit up the famous cat's deli so they give you a ticket when you come in don't lose the ticket then you stand in line for a cutter who gives you a little taste test and i ordered my pastrami juicy which means it's extra fatty then they bring you all your food and don't forget to bring a cash tip okay and then look at how gorgeous and and rich and juicy and tender this meat was oh my god and the mustard is super sharp it's all so savory and i also got their half sour pickles which are still crunchy but also really tangy and then you gotta get the hot dog with mustard and sauerkraut and chris said it was the snappiest hot dog he ever had it literally like popped in your mouth and the matzo ball soup was legitimately so soft it melted in my mouth super salty and juicy and that's all for today everything i ate at a vietnamese tex-mex restaurant in texas you know when the line is long it's gotta be good and you guys they had a pho cheeseburger it had this super crispy layer of fried noodles and caramelized pho broth onions and seriously the patty was so juicy and these birria tacos came with angry pho broth that added so much heat and flavor to the cheesy crispy tacos they even had a pho rito that is just packed with rice noodles and this super tender short rib and then you dip it in the broth for even more flavor and of course the tortilla is pan fried to get that perfect crispiness and these chicken fried dumplings came with what i think was chili oil but it was also kind of sweet and the dumplings had a great crunch too but the star of the show was this beef short rib angry pho just look at that juicy meat you gotta add peppers and bean sprouts and it came with beef meatballs too that were so bouncy and honestly this might be the most tender short rib i've ever had it was incredible and i don't know how they got their fries so crispy they're kind of like beer battered fries with like fish and chips but even crispier and finally i tried this tamarind peach water that was really sweet but also super refreshing and this fresh made orchata blew me away so creamy and cinnamony and that's all for today everything i ate at a texican barbecue restaurant in texas it's literally called texican barbecue so i was really curious and look at this platter they make everything in-house they had brisket grilled cheese that had that perfect buttery crunch and the brisket is all smoked for at least 14 hours so it literally melts in your mouth and i got this brisket taco that had this tangy spicy jalapeno relish on top and the tortilla was super soft and i'm not even lying this is the best smash burger i've ever had their house ground brisket patty is seriously so juicy and flavorful and buttery and the crunch pickles with a bright tangy mustard it's so good and the brisket is smoked over a live fire i feel like you can just tell it's so smoky and juicy and i think i went into a meat coma after this meal but it was totally worth it and look at how shiny this chili relleno sausage was it had poblano peppers oaxaca cheese and the elote was super creamy and actually really spicy and the mac and cheese was super cheesy of course but the pasta was also cooked perfectly and the pork ribs had this amazing smoky charred flavor and again just so tender and i added some fire roasted salsa also to this taco that also had avocado crema and pickled red peppers i also dipped the grilled cheese in their pineapple habanero sauce that added the perfect amount of heat and sweetness and they're actually famous for these pork belly burnt ends that were rich and finally i tried the oreo pie that the chef's wife made and oh my gosh it was decadent so creamy and crunchy and sweet and that's all for today everything i ate at a viral tex-mex restaurant in texas they had this cute little food delivery robot and just look at these quesadilla tacos the shells were so crispy and they were stuffed with that juicy savory meat and melty cheese and i added this hot sauce that had a really bold flavor and it goes so well with that rich fatty cheese and then i had to try this massive barbacoa chili relleno burrito it's stuffed with a roasted battered fried chili that's stuffed with jack cheese and i added some creamy salsa verde and the tortilla was grilled so it got all crispy and the combo of the melty cheese with the juicy barbacoa oh my gosh they also have these massive caramel churros that have this amazing crunch and inside it's got this gooey
gooey caramel and soft cinnamony dough, which literally melts in your mouth, but it also has the best crunch, best churro of my life. And I also got elote. The lady said that this fiery red salsa was super spicy and she was not lying. It also had mayo and queso fresco, so it kind of calmed down the flavor, but yeah, it was really spicy. And finally, I got this strawberry horchata that was so freaking good, so cinnamony and creamy. I love horchata so much. And that's all for today. Everything I ate at a farmer's market in Texas. We found a Caribbean Trinidadian cart selling curry roti and oh my god it was stuffed with this juicy savory chicken curry that was just bursting with like earthy spicy flavor and the roti was literally so buttery and soft and flaky the whole thing melted in my mouth and my Cuban Trinidadian friend approved. Anyway then we wandered around a little bit and you already know I found the dumpling tent. I got these big fluffy boughs and this one was filled with shepherd's purse. The veggies were seasoned so well like perfectly salty and savory. The pork one was a little sweet and juicy. It had some crunchy pieces of bok choy and you already know I got the chili oil which was smoky. Okay but this might have been my favorite thing all day. It was a giant s'mores brownie with this thick rich smooth chocolate icing on top and the base was this blondie that was crunchy but also still really moist and it had double stuffed Oreos inside and this chocolate drizzle. I could not stop eating it. Oh my god. And on the way out we found a handmade tamale stand. He said he had the best tamales in Dallas so I had to try them. They were steaming hot really really soft and filled with this tender beef and it came with some kind of chili sauce that was actually really spicy it's so delicious and that's all for today only eating at viral food spots for a full day in new york city i've been seeing this taiwanese fried chicken spot all over my for you page they have these massive chicken cutlets and boba where the lid is a plate and i got the signature crispy fried chicken cutlet with sweet chili sauce and for real the chicken is chunky it's so thick and juicy and so incredibly crunchy also these plum sweet potato fries were sugary and salty and their boss fries were super crispy and piping hot. I wish you could hear the crunch. And I got the black sugar boba black tea latte with cream mousse. Ooh, it was so chewy and really sugary. And later we headed to Journey. So I saw a TikTok about this place. They've got this whole lounge experience where you order a Bev and they play different projections based on what you got. The drinks were delicious and the lounge was so cool. They've got this whole like TV picture frame wall and then you head into this private room full of projections on the walls and on the table and they start you off with caviar that had this red onion jam. It was actually kind of sweet and anyway you start off in new york then you travel through this jungle and each dish is based on where you are they were super pretty the underwater part was pretty cool there's like fish swimming on the table and we got this black cod with this tangy yuzu glaze and then we went through the tundra and then into a volcano and the whole room filled with dry ice and they serve this braised veal risotto with creamy mascarpone and finally you go into space with this carrot cake and white chocolate ganache and banana ice cream the banana ice cream is actually my favorite and that's all for today